Hey Mac Geeks, it's Adam, and I have another Mac snack for you today. Uh, this time around, we're going to be talking a little bit about iTunes 10, and specifically a feature that one of you pointed out to me that seems to have gone missing in Apple's latest update of iTunes. And this has been happening quite a bit as Apple comes out with new versions of different applications, as they add new features, but then we also occasionally lose some features. The feature we're talking about today is the feature to actually go to a song or a track, or in this case specifically a podcast, within the iTunes store, but to get there from your iTunes library. So you may or may not be aware, but here's some music that I have in my iTunes library in the, in the music section. And if I select any one of these tracks just by clicking on it once, you notice we get these little arrows. There's one under the artist, there's one under the genre, there's one under the name. And if we click that arrow, the default action is to go to the iTunes store and then bring up that track within the iTunes store. And this feature also used to work for podcasts. So if you went into the podcast section of your library, you can see I have some podcasts loaded here. And if we click on the podcast track, you used to have those little arrows right here for the podcast name, the, the album, and other information, you can see those are now gone. And there does not appear to be a way to re-enable those for podcasts in iTunes 10. At least I haven't been able to find a way to do it. And somebody asked me if there was any way to get that functionality back. I couldn't find it, but I did come up with a couple of workarounds. So one thing that you can do is if you start playing the track in iTunes. So you can see we have this episode of the MacCast playing. If you go up to the info area here and you control click or right click this section, go down to the bottom, you see there's a find an iTunes store option. If you click that, it will go to that podcast or that entry within the iTunes store. So that kind of re-replicates that functionality of clicking the little arrows that are lost now in iTunes 10. Another option is to put your podcasts into a playlist. So if we go down here, you can see I have a playlist set up for podcasts, and I've added a couple podcasts to this. And lo and behold, if you select that item, well, there are those little arrows that will take you to the iTunes store. So again, clicking them takes us to that entry within the iTunes store and we can subscribe or get additional podcasts. But one thing that might make it a little bit easier to use playlists to add this section is to not use a standard playlist because you see if we have a standard playlist here as new podcasts come into our podcast library, they're not automatically added. So if we wanted this episode of the Mac Roundtable, for example, and we wanted to visit its entry in the iTunes store, we'd have to come back to the podcast section. We'd have to click on this, drag it over, and add it to our playlist. And then we could click the arrow and go to that entry within the iTunes store. But it's not going to be very convenient to constantly be having to add our podcasts over to our playlist. So other thing we can do is to use a smart playlist. So if you go under the file menu and choose new smart playlist, then we can add some rules and criteria. And the rule we want to add is the media kind. And we are going to set the media kind to is podcast. And that will pick up every new podcast that comes into our iTunes library and automatically add it to this smart playlist. We're not going to limit it because we want every uh, podcast to show up in this list, every podcast that's in our iTunes library. And we are going to leave the live updating turned on. And that's the key because that's what is going to automatically, as new podcasts come in, add them to this playlist. So we click OK. And then down here, we probably want to give it a name, something like podcasts. And as you can see now, with this selected, we have all of the podcasts that are in our iTunes library in this playlist automatically added. And 
we can click the little arrows, it will go to that entry within the iTunes store. And we kind of get that functionality back. Again, it's lost from our podcast library. As you can see, we don't have that feature. But now with playlists or using the right click, find an iTunes store option, we can sort of get that functionality back. If you know of another way to do this, this is the way I was able to figure out how to kind of have a workaround. If you know of another way to do it, please send your emails to maccast at gmail.com and let me know. And I hope I will be able to share those on a future episode of the MacCast. But uh, until next time, I will talk to you all again real soon.